Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chris at iRepairDoctor.com. Today what we're showing you is how to properly take your iPhone that you already have and update it to iOS 7 or just back it up in general so that you always have it. Um, this phone happens to be... I have a couple emails in there. I have a couple pictures. It was a phone that I had cleared out, but I just added a couple things in there to show you how it works. I got contacts. I got two emails, two contacts, four pictures, a bunch of apps I added to it. So, you know, the phone's running on, uh, whoops. What is it? One point, or 6.1.4, and we're going to get it on iOS 7 now. We're going to get it on iOS 7 now, and what we're going to do is back it up so that if you ever lose your phone, get a new phone or whatever you can always you know restore it from the way it was and with the process that I'm going to show you you're not going to have to put in your passwords emails you know Wi-Fi is you can see the Wi-Fi is working photos emails are all in there I don't have to like you know put any passwords in uh, whatever you know is open or whatever at the time it's all going to be there just the way it is so first what you're going to want to do you're going to want to go to apple.com, click on iTunes, click on download iTunes. You can uncheck these boxes. You don't have to put your email address, click download, install it. Once it comes up, it'll look something similar to this. Uh, plug in your iPhone. I'll try to leave it back here so it doesn't get out of focus. And it's saying update. Now we want to do it later. So we'll click now. See, it's automatically starting to back it up. Uh, now, what we're going to want to make sure we got the phone plugged in, it's the right phone, everything. You're going to want to click this box. As soon as you click this box, it's going to ask for a password and start backing up your iPhone. So click it, it'll start backing it up. I'm a little weird about it. I always like to hit it again and make sure that it's backed up. You can see it running up here. It should transfer your apps and all that stuff so that you have it you know, on whatever computer you put this on. So now what you're gonna wanna do that it's backed up and everything is click on restore iPhone. You could just click on update but I like to always restore it, make sure it's wiped out clean, and start fresh. I mean, it only takes an extra minute or so. So click on it, hit restore and update. If you didn't download the update yet, it may take a little while. I think originally when I downloaded the update, it may have taken 30 minutes. And, you know, you can push this little button and, you know, do software up update this way. I don't recommend it. And this, doing this, is nothing to do with what I'm showing you today. Because this way, you're taking a chance of losing your contacts, photos, everything. So I just like to make sure it's backed up. I have a duplicate of it somewhere. It's just not trying to do it on its own. So if you make a comment saying, hey, I pushed the little button and it ain't working. Well, this isn't a video about pushing the little button and trying to install it. That's not what this video is about. So, it's plugged in the iTunes, hit restore and update, it's going to extract the software, it's taking it from 6.1.4 to 7 point something point two, I believe, is the latest one out right now. And if you had a previously jailbroken iPhone, you're going to want to hit that button that says restore iPhone before you do anything. It's just, you know, make sure you don't just hit update, if, especially if it's jailbroken. You have to restore it. And then sometimes, if you have a little bit of issues, plug it in, back it up, and then if it won't restore, what, what I normally do is I plug it in, make sure it's backed up, encrypted, so that you don't have to worry about losing anything. And then take go to settings and then boom hit reset erase all content and settings 
but do not hit this button until you know for a fact that it's backed up to the computer. Sometimes if you do that and reset it, then you can update it and then you can put your old information back on it, your contacts, photos, etc. That is, I don't know why it's like that. Certain phones, you know, you have to do it that way. You know, it's just weird. Some phones actually, I've, I've had one phone lose its capability of Wi-Fi, you know, after it was um, updated. I've actually had that happen twice to me. So I mean, updating your phone is good, but I've had a 4S and an iPhone 4 both lose the option of Wi-Fi after the update. Like it's still there, but it's just grayed out and there's no way I figured out how to fix it. I even held on to the phone, put a new update on it, you know, when the next one came out, still nothing. So this is going to take a little while here, I'm sure of, uh, I can't even see the product, there it goes. And if you haven't checked out our website, check it out. It's iRepairDoctor.com. All right, so now it like did the little beep. It said the phone's restored. I don't ever click OK, I let it do its thing. The best thing about iOS 7 is iTunes Radio. It takes a little while to get, you know, get it to where you want it. But it starts coming around and like I've had Pandora now for like a couple years and I sort of got that Pandora knows exactly what kind of music I like now. All right, there you go. Congratulations, your phone's been unlocked. To set up, hit continue. You can set it up as a new phone or we can do it from that. But what I want to show you is if you have it like this and you're going to set it up, it's going to ask you to choose a Wi-Fi network. Let me put this in real quick. So I can show you guys. Enable. Alright, this is where you're going to want to be careful with signing it up, setting it up. If you're going to sell the phone, you know, if you skip this step, it would be easier to sell the phone because otherwise if you're like one of those people that forget their iTunes information, your email and password and you want to try to sell the phone, it's going to stop you from being able to even sell the phone. So. I mean, if you can, if you're not the type of person that forgets things, then definitely put it in there. But if you're the type of person that forgets it, even if you try to restore the phone, it's not going to let you restore it. It's going to say that this phone belongs to whoever that email address was. Well, that's that, but... See, there's going to be no photos or nothing. Obviously, the Wi-Fi is working right now. No email. So, back over here to the computer. So, we have, we can read. It was called iRepair Doctor iPhone 5. Originally, is what it was called. So, we'll click on that because that's the one we want. And it has the password. So, we'll put it in. Okay. Now it's going to restore the phone from our backup a few minutes ago. Again, it's asking, but again, I always wait and let it do its thing. I don't click OK. The phone's still spinning. I don't know if you can see that. Now, if it's done right, it should put all the apps where they were, the email address, all those should be in there with the passwords, the Wi-Fi, the passwords, the contacts, the pictures, 
the background. Everything should be just the way it was before, except now it's on iOS 7. Like, exactly the way it was. So, like, if you have some crazy password at work or something, or you go to, like, your friend's house a lot and you use their Wi-Fi and you won't have to bug them again and say, what's the password? What's this? What's that? Or you won't have to forget that you, you know... Whoops. Damn it. As you can see up here, it's syncing the apps to the phone. Update complete. It's going to want me to do this setup here if you're going to want to, you know, sign in. Let me sign in. All right, so I just signed in. You agree. Terms and conditions, yes. I'll just put no for now. Now it's asking for a passcode, you know, to unlock it. We'll just make it. Actually, I don't even want to put one. We won't add one, just in case I forget it. I click get started. Now it's going to be adding the apps. And if you look, our emails are in there. Photos, contacts, and then if you double click, you can see, you know, I had the camera open, the App Store, Safari. I don't know if I went to anything on Safari. I think I just opened it. Yeah. So there you go. You have an unlocked, backed up, whatever phone. And then you now you don't have to worry about it. You ever have an issue, drop it in the toilet, whatever, I have to get a new phone. Just come in, plug it in, boom. Your phone is back where it was. Contacts, emails, everything from the day that you did this setup. If you have any other questions or want to uh, like and subscribe, I would love that. If you have any suggestions for some videos, let us know. Here I'm putting in, in I had an AT&T SIM in there. I'm putting in a, uh, is this a simple mobile, I think, yeah. Throw in a simple mobile SIM just to test it out and make sure, you know, that it's unlocked and everything's working. This one's a cut one, so it's just a hair thick, but. Obviously, it's starting to work. It just take a little while for that service to pop up. Searching. See carrier for fifteen point oh. So it's unlocked. Just waiting. Shortly here, it should come up with a network. Sometimes if it doesn't, you might have to turn the phone off and back on. But as you can see, it's still searching. So it's just, you know, it's the first time it's going from AT&T to whatever. And this one's a simple mobile. So it's going from AT&T to simple mobile. So it does take a few minutes or whatever to, you know, click over. Actually, I think it was less than a minute, but... There you go, you have your unlocked iPhone or restored iPhone, whatever it is. It's back to the way it was when you originally started, which is iOS 7 now. So, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. You know, make a comment. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Check us out on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash iRepairDoctor. 
and check us out on the web. It's www.irepairdoctor.com. You have any questions or whatever, hit us up. See it. Since our last giveaway did so well with the cases, with the bumpers, Since the last one did so well with the bumpers, this time when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll send you a life proof case of your choice. Either a five or a four or 4S, whatever. Whatever one you got, whatever color, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, like and subscribe. And just to clarify things, because a couple of people got confused with our last uh, giveaway, that doesn't matter if you're the 1,000th subscriber or the first subscriber, we randomly pick who's going to win. So when we get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll give away a case. When we get to 1,500, I'll give away another case, 2,000, another case, so on and so forth. So please like and subscribe. Check us out. Peace.